thanks for tuning into my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber hey y'all so today guys i just wanted to do a what's in my bag on this beautiful mini luggage <laughs> if you got this bag then you already know it's like a carry-on graceful mm um if you are new here this bag was gifted to me by a company online so you know what that means oh ooh, i always do that so you know what that means, okay? And I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> so let's get into it. But you know, with that being said, I have no complaints about this bag. I wear this bag with just as much pride as I wear my authentic graceful MM in the Damier Levine print. And if somebody wanna give me a bag to review in the monogram MM, actually, you know what? I'll take a PM. So if one of you companies out there watching this video, uh, you uh, yes, you can send it to me and I will do the review and put your information where it needs to be. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let me stop. So, as you guys can see, it comes with the luggage tag. I was caught in the rain with this bag. I'm not mad though because you know we buy bags to wear, you know what I'm saying? And if you hold a bag so near and dear that it can't get rain on it, then I don't know, you're a different type of bag girl, okay. I'm not mad about the rain. Look at those rain stains. Can you see them? Let me see. See if I can zoom in on them. Y'all see them rain spots? Baby, I'm gonna take these rain spots. I'm proud, okay? And that is it. So that's enough with me rambling. Let's go ahead and get into the contents of this bag. Dang, let me zoom back out. I forget. <laughs> I didn't zoomed all the way in. All right. Front of the bag big luggage you already know definitely a nice carry-on item look this thing is huge it's might be the size of a sometimes i think this hold more than my graceful i'm sorry my um never full mm even though it's shaped different sometimes it just feel like it could hold more to me but anyway they're about the same or this one might be a little bit bigger it kind of puts me in the mind of a GM in a way, but I could be wrong. I don't know the exact measurements. To me is all I'm saying. So let me give you an overview. This is, let's see. This is what's in the bag. <laughs> and let's get to the contents, okay? So I'm gonna just hold it over here and pull things out this way since I got a little space right here. All right, so let's start with this back pocket. I just have the inserts for the, what do you call this thing? The little bitty bag. These are the inserts, the Felici. And that was purchased off DHgate, this Felici thing with the bag. <laughs> so I just have some cards. This is where your cash go, but I have my mail and rebates from Menards that I need to send in and get that little 30 bucks. And in here, I just have more extra cards, more extra cards, a little help. Extra cards <laughs> and some stamps because I need some mail off those rebates. Plus, I'd like to keep stamps because you never know. All right, what else is in this pocket? Next, I have my key holder. This is authentic and extremely old and worn. You can see how dirty it is. Let me see if I can get it to compare it. See, not bad, cause this is authentic thing. Uh, gloss, lip gloss. I have my coach notebook. Um, oh, excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze, y'all. Okay, I think it's going away. Wait, nope. Okay. I'm trying to get over it. And I just love this little notebook. And in it, I just have a notebook I got from the Dollar Tree. I did remove the one that came with it. I still have it. It's brand new, never wrote in it. But I just wanted to switch it out because I thought this was much cuter. And then I have this notebook from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, I have death been writing. Guys, I am trying to get into um, gardening a little more. Like I do pot gardening. But I have a nice size yard, so I want to actually design my space and use it for its full potential. Because that yard is going to be like a sanctuary when I'm done with it. 
this notebook it just has <laughs> i just been rambling it has my um gardening ideas flowers that i want to buy flowers that i want to grow herbs what good what's good for tea um what's good for tinctures like what house plants don't need a lot of sunlight just a lot of things like that so yes i do keep this with me or in another contain not another container another bag that is somewhere with me if my bag is small i do like to have extra bags in my car with a little notebook something to write with and something to write on because you never know if you have to leave a note with somebody and i keep tape in my car too just in case you got to tape note on somebody's door you know i'm old school we used to leave notes in the mailbox on the door whatever mm. All right, let's move right along. That pocket is empty. Doing two at a time. Next, <laughs> just have this little good vibes notebook. From, notebook, Lord help. Pouch from the Dollar Tree. And in it is just some Lysol, some hand sanitizer, some wet ones, some stain wipes, some hand wipes. You know, because it's barbecue season. And I hate when I'm outside at somebody's house and we just chilling. All of a sudden, the meat ready on the grill. You know, they got their little butcher board cutting up. So I'm like, here, taste this. And you're like, well, I've been playing cards, grabbing drinks, you know, touching the chair. Like, let me get my hands together. Or once you finish eating, you might not necessarily can go in the house right away. So you want to just clean your hands and do what you need to do. All right. Next is a Never Full, um, what do you call this thing? Pouch. <laughs> and I have that little wristlet from fashion stop next stop fashion i can't remember oh lord help they just sent me these too to do reviews on so i have that in case i want to just throw some stuff in here and go i don't think these inserts can fit but you know what let me see because i was so thinking that maybe i can slide them in here and go about my business what and i just and can I slide them right on in there go on about your business leave the person to trunk all right, so that is that. I do not have a never full in this print, but I bought this off of what did I get this from? Off the internet. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna get me a never full in this print or some kind of bag in this print. And I'm happy I got this because now it can fit in my graceful, and I still plan on getting a never full, and of course it will come with its own pouch. All right, next. I have this cute little Dior <laughs> bag from Amazon. Today is Prime Day. And it's just feminine stuff. Some poopery spray, um, some vaginal wipes, Dollar Tree ones, Vagisil ones. Oh, some cramp mids, some honey pot wipes. Whichever wipes on sale is what I buy most of the time. So I have some honey pot, some Vagisil. I have some Summer's Eve somewhere. These are from the Dollar Tree. And I do have, dang, doggy, move. Coconut and aloe. Y'all, if y'all hear any like pig noises, anything up, don't start. Don't start. You got me on the last video. Please do not do that. No, no, no. Just go. Stop. Y'all, did y'all just hit this? Girl, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I just have this little pouch. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I am back. It was just got it got real noisy between the dog and my son in that game. That shooting noise was getting on my nerves. I have this little pouch, and I do believe I might have bought this from my Posh Life or my Posh on Instagram. She sells a lot of items like this. And this came from the gate. <laughs> and in it, keys to the car. So, and my house key, of course, so I can get in because they be locking me out. All right, what else we got? I have my karagami, which I was kind of in a rush when I got in this bag. So the stuff that was in here could have really went into this little thing. And I could have did away with this one and put it away, but I didn't. So I'll do that after this video. Eyeglasses, uh, 
key ring holder. I don't know what that key is. Oh, that's my mama's house key. And I just always throw this in to make sure in case I can't remember if I switched it out or not. I just got the keys to her house. Pocket agenda, because you need some type of calendar. A pencil case to go with the notebook, because I mean, I can't write without a pencil, right? I used to carry around my iPad and take notes on that, but that got a little heavy. And then make sure it's always charged and my pencil's working. I'm like, uh, too much, too much. Let me go back to the old school. And I just have pens and pencils. Uh, two Swarovski pens. You guys have seen these many times. And you know what brand this is. So we're not gonna get into it because I say tool. Some people say tool. This it is what it is. <laughs> it's a tool pen, but I say tool pen. And then I just have some clinic and some hand wipes. And hanging right here, I have my AirPods. Case in a case. Ooh, ooh. They're not normally that hard to get out. And then on the other side, I do have something hanging as well. Let me turn the bag around. And on this side, I just have this lippy hanging. And this was a lippy hanging. A lipstick holder. <laughs> <laughs> from off Amazon and I do have something in there which is my is this the bomb or the Pepsi? no this is an actual lip color I thought it was the bomb but it's an actual lip color which I don't mind putting that on I just do it lightly and this is number 72 brush let me run that back in case you know somebody might be like ooh that's pretty okay Nothing wasted. Went on my finger, right to my lip. We're not about to waste that gloss. All right. Coin pouch from the gate. <laughs> and we ain't done. We ain't done. I have that cocoa butter bomb. As you can see, I don't have any lotion. I'm just going to be using this bomb. I have a nail file. This sculpt eyeshadow. I was trying to see if it was closed. Why is it closed? It's supposed to line up when it's closed. Mm, that's a strip. Some pink sugar because if I don't remember to put on anything, this is one inexpensive fragrance that I do not mind wearing. And as you can see, I've been wearing it. I also have the body spray. So I kind of spray that body spray on. Then I go ahead and put this on and psh, go back my day to the grocery store just so I can have some kind of scent going. Receipt from the Dollar Tree, nail glue, cute pink little kitty mirror I bought from the Dollar Tree, I don't know how many years ago. And my fave cream shop lip uh, cream. It smells so good, it's Minnie Mouse. Mm, it smells so good. I've been using it, dig them nails right on in, just like that. <laughs> Get some and put it on our lip. Yep, I was putting it on my lip. That's why I sounded like that. Okay, close that up. Matter of fact, here we, this is what we're going to do right here. Because in here is actually some lip stuff I bought from a beauty supply when I was in Chicago because I didn't have any lip gloss in my bag. I was like, wait a minute now. And probably because where I was going that day, I was just wearing lipstick. But once I left the event and changed clothes, Got ready to put some lip gloss on. I was like, wait a minute, I don't even have no lip gloss in my bag. So I bought this from the beauty supply. We just gonna put some of this stuff in here so I don't have a bunch of loose things in the bottom of my bag. Let's put this back where it belongs. And guys, that is it that is all and as you can see this purse is dirty let me see we got some dirt stains there the bottom is a little dirty but mm -hmm. i am considering putting some feet on this bag on a lot of my bags actually i'm gonna go to hobby lobby michael's joanne somewhere and find some little button things 
that I can use to glue some type of bootleg feet on my bags. Not only the non-authentic ones, my coach bags, my Louis bags that don't have feet because one thing I don't like about Louis Vuitton is, how is it that Dooney and Burke is charging $500 for an all leather bag, right? Leather bag, Florentine leather, will give you feet on your bag. But a bag that is canvas that costs over a thousand dollars, you can't get nothing to protect it from the actual ground. Like there is no border from the ground in your bag, or a table in your bag, or a chair in your bag, the car seat in your bag. I do not like that. Like I'm starting to realize, like now that I'm getting older, these luxury brands is not giving all the luxury. Like any Louis Vuitton bag, there should be feet on any bag from Louis, in in my opinion. Um, except for the little small ones that you can keep on you crossbody style that you don't have to take off and sit anywhere but a bag that you're carrying on your shoulder that you need to put down at some point to be able to function in my opinion going forward need feet and if I just gotta look for bags with feet then that's just what I'm gonna be buying because the bags get worn on the edges but anywho let me stop Thank you guys so much for watching what's in my bag <laughs> this is how it normally lays when i'm carrying it kind of like a hobo type bag i love gracefuls i want to end um a pm mm. i'm sorry y'all had to take this sip. too much talking thank you guys for watching bye y'all